from WSYR TV. This is News Channel 9. Thanks for being with us. I'm Nicole Somavilla with a quick news update for you before we get back to the game. The search continues for a 19 year old Canastota woman who's been missing for more than three days now. Elizabeth Garrow, who goes by Lizzie, was last seen around 1145 Wednesday morning. State and local agencies spent the last two days searching for her in Madison County, and they plan to continue following leads overnight. Take a look at her on your screen. If you have any information that might help, you're asked to call the Madison County Sheriff's Office at 315-366-2311. Your tap water is finally safe again. The Onondaga County Health Department has lifted the week long boil water advisory today for those in the town of DeWitt. So yes, you can drink your tap again, but you are encouraged to first flush your tap by running it on full for five minutes. You can go the extra step if you want and replace your filters and you should also replace your ice. To football in what was a not so typical home opener for a not so typical year. SU taking on Georgia Tech today in the newly renovated dome, but COVID crept in, causing kickoff delays. The noon game was delayed a full 30 minutes to make sure all tests were negative. In the end, behind 112 rushing yards and two touchdowns from freshman Sean Tucker, the Orange came out on top with their first win of the season, 37 to 20. We will have the full highlights for you at 11. Well, President Donald Trump has officially nominated federal judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court to fill the seat of late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. He just made the announcement at 5 o'clock tonight. At 48, Barrett would be the youngest Supreme Court nominee since Clarence Thomas in 1991. The next step, the Senate. A simple majority vote would confirm the nominee. Republicans appear to have the votes to officially confirm Barrett to the bench. Only two GOP senators indicated they oppose moving ahead before the election, but it would take four Republicans to break ranks to stop it. All right, Nicole, we'll take a look here at the numbers from today on your Saturday. It was a warm day. It felt more like summer this afternoon. Got into the low and mid-80s in Syracuse after a uh, low and mid-50s kind of start. Nice and comfy. Nothing as far as rainfall. Now almost two weeks in a row without measurable rainfall in Syracuse. Crazy, right? Your lows tonight, mild with a breeze under a partly cloudy sky or partly to mostly cloudy. Low and mid-60s for most. It's breezy. It's warm. How about low and mid-80s tomorrow and muggier with a pretty decent amount of sunshine. A few scattered showers, a lot of dry time on Monday, low 80s and muggy, and then we start those changes with some rain possible, maybe a thunder shower Tuesday. Scattered showers even cooler Wednesday. Stay tuned for more news and weather after the game.